If you clicked on this video, you're probably wanting five tips on how to keep a planted aquarium. Well, you're in the right spot. The first tip is to have adequate filtration. Adequate filtration will save you money in the long run. Let me turn on the light, it's kind of dark. As you can see, here's my adequate filtration unit, which is kind of hot rotted because I followed Cory from Aquarium Co-op's design. It's kind of clogged right now, but don't mind that. See here, here's the Penguin BioWheel C50 filter. This filter has been hot rotted to work very well compared to what it typically should be running at. See here, it's these bio wheels are working very well, and we also got a piece of pothos in here too. Okay, now let's move over here. We got this aqua. I don't think no, we have this Aquatech aquatic filter for freshwater tanks as well. These are both for freshwater. You see them the nickel thing switch. I will turn these filters off so you can see what's going on inside of them. Here's my planted tank for y'all. Okay, let's turn off my aquarium filters with my aquarium filters shut off button. See? Shuts off all filters except for the sponge filters down there, which is because it's on a separate circuit. There's the ram. The fish are kind of curious about what just happened. But I can show you what's inside here, on this, at least for this for aquarium filter. I'm going to take off this poster just because I can't really get it to you guys. I'm just going to take off the dragon recognition poster. It's like a little reward I got from my school. Okay, but here, watch this. So you can see if I take off the intake tube, let's see, there should be a piece of sponge in there. Let me get my tweezer so I can get it out for you. I know this probably isn't the best quality video. You're probably just, nobody's priority. Probably nobody who's actually going to watch this far. But whoever's watching, thank you for that. Okay. So you'd see here, on the inside of this filter, there's a piece of sponge, which I recommend. I always recommend. I, I, like, I cannot stress this enough. Always use sponge. And I'll give you a bonus tip. This is going to be how to. This is also going to be how to clean a sponge. So, you, you always want a uh, coarse aquarium sponge. You always, always, always want to have one at least one of them in your filter. Check out this little block came with the filter. See, there I am in the bathroom recording my phone. Google Pixel. You can see here. What you want to do is you want to just kind of rinse it. No soap. Absolutely no soap. Sponges are sponges, and they absorb it. They absorb it very well. So yeah. Um. You just want to make sure that it's really clean. You don't have any residues of anything on there. No chemicals, no nothing. Just clean water. See here. I know my sink strong is kind of weird, but I set it up so I can clean up sponges. You really want to make sure it's extra clean by just squeezing all this stuff out. Kind of a good fidget, too. This is a pretty big sponge that's going to take a while to clog up. And the thing is, you don't want to like use any soap, or you don't want to let it dry out because of beneficial bacteria. You want to make sure that that stays in your tank. Okay. Now you got it. Now next tip. You got it. When you bring it back to your tank, insert it in a different orientation than the side that's dirty. Preferably put the side that's dirty down, at least with this filter. Now I'm going to reinstall my intake tube. Now next, I'm going to check the cartridges and make sure that they're clean. Now you can see this one is not clean. This one has been cleaned this morning. See the comparison? Now here's one of my best tips for you. To make sure your cartridges are, cartridges are clean. And like, I would not recommend using cartridges. I would just recommend uh, using just, just sponge and uh, carbon, and activated carbon. But I get it. Some people just have, sorry, I haven't gotten to do the dishes yet, so. Come on, this is how I clean out my cartridges. I just get my little hose sprayer. Pardon the dishes, I'm very sorry about that. And I just get it pretty darn clean. Should be good enough. There we go. Now I want to take the bottom side because that was touching it. Now I'm going to. Now I'm just going to rinse that bottom side off just so that there's nothing in there. Now it's clean. I know I have low pressure issues in my house. Gotta shake it off over the sink. Now I'm just going to run it back so it doesn't flood my floor. Don't want to slip because there's water. Now I've got to come up. Now I've got to put the cartridge back in. Sorry about that. Sorry I wasn't pointing the camera there. Now you can see the cartridge is back in. So 
this cartridge. I like, I don't like to put the cover on that one. Crap, I put some water on the floor. Let me go grab a towel from the bathroom. This is, don't worry, it's an ugly towel. It's a used one. Used towel for, I think it's a dog's towel. But, yeah, it's okay. Now, if you want, you can restart your filter. I'll show you the one we just cleaned. There it goes. It's flying freely now. You can see it's flowing absolutely perfectly. No clogs. You can see here, Penguin BioWheel filter could be cleaner, cleaner, but it's okay. It's not going to flood. Okay, our next tip is to make sure you've got some high quality fertilization. In this case, I have some in my tank here in the form of nitrates. Like you can see here, here's my angels, which they don't produce much nitrates, but I got, I do have a molly fish, which, which does create a lot of nitrates. Now, you can see I have quarries as well, it also create nitrates. All these fish, like that molly, create nitrates, which therefore give these plants and these plants over here good fuel to live. Now, these plants also get light, which I got this little nice little light on there too. Okay, so these are good tips when you're keeping angels in a planted tank. Here's another good tip. Another good tip is to check your temperature. Make sure your temperature gauge is showing the right thing. I know we said we'd be doing five tips this, this episode, but we're not going to do just five tips. We're going to give you a bunch of bonus. You can see there's our heater, which you can see it's working. You can't see the temperature, but it's it's good. I can see it. Except you guys can't really see it, but it's a good temperature. Make sure your angelfish and make sure any fish you have are in a good temperature and a good environment. Now, if we go down here, you see this tank with the betta is also a good temperature because there's a heater. Another tip when keeping African dwarf frogs with a betta tank in it with a betta fish is to make sure that they got places to burrow because they will uproot your plants it's not their intentions but they can do it and they will do it i have seen them do uh, do it with these stem plants like i've also seen them do it with the anubias but rarely anubias but you can also keep them with sponge filters which i am because it does just look it's bottom scape looks pretty good and you can see you got a marimo moss ball and a sponge filter that isn't active back there so they can hide I had a bunch of baby snails. So if you guys want one, well, I don't know if I can give. I don't know if I can give them out, but I'll try to figure something out. Let me know if you know of any places I could take them near uh, Boulder, Colorado. I'm just saying Boulder because I don't want to give away my address. You can see here's my betta fish, and make sure if you're keeping betta fish as well. Make sure if you're keeping African dwarf frogs with betta fish, and you have like. Uh, some floating plants such as salvinia which is what i got see the salvinia looks really good on camera but you can see here if i got salvinia if you got salvinia gotta make sure they got spaces to breathe because they they can drown because frogs they do have lungs or at least from what my knowledge is they do they have to breathe from the surface okay a tip for keeping cory catfish which you can see here i can show you i have cory catfish and there's some back there too there's some pictures catfish back there you see, offer them places to hide, which in my case, I offered them a tunnel. Which, you can see the plecos keep on digging out, but I don't like that. But I'll have to fix it. But, make sure you offer them a good tunnel system, because they will thank you for that. That has been more than five tips of how to keep a planted tank and the fish in it. So please like and subscribe, and goodbye.